Let's try this. Everyone just warm your hands up a little bit. Put your hands out in front of you, about six inches apart. Someone's been lying to you. Um, and I want you to imagine that you have magnets on the palms of your hands. Do you think you do anything that you can't imagine doing? Everyone, point your first finger forward. Point at me, there you go. After three, I want you to all say out loud so everyone can hear you, I can go further. Okay? I can go further. Ooh, I didn't count to three, but that was fantastic. <laughs> Wow, I said on the count of three, but you guys are keen. One, two, three. I can go further. That's beautiful. I love the participation. Hands up who went further. That's right. That's pretty much everyone. That's fantastic, isn't it? Very interesting how that works. Whoa. Interesting, right? You all have a voice in your head that you obey. Everyone have a smartphone? Raise your hands. That's pretty much the whole room. You, really? You don't have a smartphone? Just you just don't want to participate. You're telling yourself, I don't have to be in games. I don't have interesting voice in their head. They obey. <laughs> but whether you think you can or you think you can't, like John Henry Ford said, you're always right. Anyone arguing with me in their head right now, it's proving it to themselves. What you see and what you hear really has an influence on you. But let's face it, how you see yourself and what you say to yourself has a much bigger influence. And we do tend to chase good feelings. They're emotions, and emotions, like motivation, only really last about 15 seconds neurochemically. Little burst of emotion. And we can have consecutive bursts of this if we see images in our head and we talk to ourselves. Now, I know it might sound corny, but motion comes from emotion. And not just the word missing the E. Actions make feelings, and feelings make actions. And it kind of starts to drive, it's a cycle. But it's not a vicious cycle, unless you're focusing on the wrong things and demotivating yourself. What we do makes us feel a certain way, and the state that we're in drives our behavior. But the thing about driven people is they motivate themselves on a daily basis. They have a habit of cheering themselves on, and they keep those good feelings going. And if you can get this cycle going, then it starts to become really easy. Something that was arduous maybe in the beginning becomes quite effortless to continue. Now the key to get this whole cycle started is your imagination. Now a really simple thing that you can do that makes it easier is you can use your smartphone. Everyone's got one these days. You'll be marketing a message to yourself on the way to work if you play it in the car or while you're doing your filing or your paperwork. You're already doing those things. And you could be marketing a message to yourself now, these marketing messages really work. Advertisers wouldn't spend millions and billions of dollars doing this if they didn't work. Now, when I was growing up, we only had three TV stations. Now, I don't know if you noticed your attention spans are getting shorter, but these days you've got hundreds of channels to choose from. You're being conditioned to have very short attention spans. <laughs> okay, you can stop doing that. Thank you, everyone. Practice makes permanent, though. It doesn't make perfect. If you practice doing something badly, you're going to get very good at doing it badly. Some games really do condition you to pay attention. Think about gamers spending all evening killing zombies on a screen. They're kind of hypnotized by these flashing lights and the sound of gunfire. And they get really super focused on this. Now, I'm going to count from 10 down to 1 for these guys. I just want you to watch wonderfully relaxed that they can become. Absolutely, completely relaxed. Completely, completely relaxed. The best of them are playing a serious game of pretending that their avatar's life is important. That it's live or die for their avatar. Don't you think if you did that, you'd be far more likely to hold yourself accountable? These are people open to new ideas. Are you really going to do something that you can't even imagine doing? Stiff and rigid, like a bar of steel, like it's been welded to your shoulder. That's not an arm anymore, that's a bar of steel. And if you can really imagine doing something, well then you're far more likely to do it, aren't you? Can I have a volunteer? Someone, you sir, please. Yes, that's right, someone with muscles. <laughs> <laughs> that's Mario's arm. That's right, that's, that's pretty yeah. tight, right? Yeah. yeah. What about this one? We're told that women have a less upper body strength. I'm not sure that that's true, is it? No. That's incredible. Now, put your arm out like that. Okay, I'll make it stiff and rigid. 
<laughs> imagine the practical applications for this in your business. Can you imagine being so effective that you had more money and more time to play with? I'm David Fairweather. Thank you for being such a wonderful audience. You've been amazing.